Okay, um, hey everyone, here for another video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the progression of my Spider-Man suit throughout the years, and, um, now the reason I decided to make this video instead of the other one, which will be posted later this week or start of next week, the, the Far From Home suit where I, I put on the suit. Now the reason why I did this is because I was reading the comments like the other day, and I'm seeing all these people saying, like, wow, you're so good at this, I wish I could do this, and all that, oh, my stuff aren't very good. And then it got me thinking, like, the whole point of this channel, as well as to teach you guys how to do stuff. So, I just want to, like, show you guys what I did, just so some of you aren't discouraged to do this kind of stuff, because it's fun, like, it, it's really fun. Once you start to learn how to do it, even the trial and error, I went through a lot of trial and error, which I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to show you everything that happened, and yeah. And you guys can start to um, start to do that. So, yeah. Another thing I wanted to say, though, too, is um, with being what I read, what I told you what I've been reading, I decided to remake the tutorial. But I'm not going to do what I was originally going to do, where I make, like, a five, a five video tutorial series where it's, like, I tell you how to do the arms and then the legs and do all that kind of stuff. I want to do an ongoing series that will go on for a couple of months. I don't know when I'm going to post those videos. It might be pretty spontaneous. It's just going to be an ongoing series teaching you guys exactly how to do everything I learned. So you guys don't really have to go through all that trial and er error that I did with um, puff painted tutorials. I've seen a lot of them, but there's some stuff that people don't tell you how to do, which I had to figure out myself. I'm going to go in depth with everything. Sewing, fabric glue, if you don't know how to sew, how to cut your own, um, how to cut your own patterns, make your own patterns, and do all that kind of stuff. And it's going to be going on for a couple of months, and I'm going to try to work my way up into getting to a replica phase. And I'm talking about like, movie replica almost rpc studio if you know what that is that's like where they make high grade professional suits they sell it for what six hundred dollars and the last video the last couple of videos i'm gonna work my way up to screen printing which some of you will know what that is but if y'all don't know what that is um screen printing is the process of Printing like the the pattern on the suit like the rubberized paint pattern without actually using that puffy paint bottle that I showed you It's like it textured just nice and even and it looks great That's what they use in the movies. That's like on the thousand dollar suits and stuff I'll show you how to do all that kind of stuff. I'm learning this on uh, On the way of doing this as well. I'm gonna learn like how to screen. Print. I've never done it before I was looking into it. I found all the materials I need how to make your screens and all that and at most, to build a nice replica suit with screen printed stuff, um, textured fabric and all that kind of stuff, it'll be mo at most a couple hundred instead of a couple thousand. Because there's always, it, it's, there's an easier way to do the stuff. Like, it looks, it looks very daunting to start to, like, take on this kind of, um, this kind of, uh, how should I put this? Just, just, just to take up this kind of this kind of work it's just it kind of looks it looks really hard right it looks there's too much to it but in the grand scheme of things like it, you you can do it. anyone can do it. anyone can do it. all it does is take time but yeah um enough of that ranting i'm just gonna get into um um my suits so yeah okay so i'm gonna start from the bottom this was my second suit and I know Shell is thinking, like, what is that? Like, it, it looks horrible. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is horrible. This is my second suit, which I made, what year? Probably, like, ooh, maybe 2015, 20, no, 2014. And, yeah, I made it small just because I didn't know about measurement and sizing and all that kind of stuff. I was completely lost. Like, look, just, just take a look at it. It's completely ripped apart. Some of the stuff were cut off. But... It just, it looks horrible. I'm not gonna lie, it looks terrible. But this is where I started. This is, this is, this is where I started like how many years ago. I started to do this when I was much younger, but um, this was my first grasp at making a fabric suit completely from scratch instead of just modifying old costumes, which is what I used to do. 
I uh, actually made an Ant-Man suit out of duct tape, like colored duct tape, because I thought the duct tape looked like leather, and I didn't know how to sew or nothing, so I got an old suit and I just duct tape um, pieces of uh, black, red, and whatever color fabric on it, and it was, yeah, those, those are some times, some pretty interesting times, so yeah. Um, no, but as I was saying, now this suit, um, used two-way stretch fabric, which I want to tell you guys, don't use two-way stretch fabric for costumes. You want always, you always want four-way stretch. You just, you want a four-way stretch. Like, two-way stretch, it only stretches two, two ways, like this way, but it doesn't stretch this way. So that means that you're not going to get that full maximum, um, flexibility that you need for, um, for your suit. And you can see all these strokes here, just, like, look at it. This is hot glue. This is the reason why I said you don't want to hot glue your suits. Because this was put in the washer, accidentally, actually. I didn't put this on purpose. And this is what I did to it. Because um, when I put it in the dryer, I it went, yeah, it went into the dryer. What happened is it reheated, like, it remelted um, the hot glue. And then it started to seep through. And it is just looks horrible like look it's super rigid it's not flexible even if you were to let this hang dry like hot glue is it it's not that flexible it's gonna come off eventually and it's not really your best source on to doing that kind of stuff um for the logo this washed off but i just decided to draw on it and y'all see like i can't even wear this this was supposed to this was supposed to be like stretch out it did wrinkle up because of the hot glue it was much bigger I know this looks like it's supposed to be for a child but I did cut off the arms and I cut off the legs it was much longer and like you can see it's, it's kind of wide like it was kind of wide five years ago I was much smaller I'm still pretty small but yeah so yeah this is how it used to look and that was my second my second suit my my first one I have no idea where that went that was that's like long gone I, I probably wouldn't even show it because of just how bad it looked but yeah, I just want to show you guys that's 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 where I started. So yeah, and then here is my third suit. Now, this suit I did rip the logo off because I don't know what logo I wanted to put on this, and then I just started making another suit, so I never um, added a logo back on. But this suit was the one I took to my first con, and I love this. I still love this suit. It looks it looks beat up. Like really beat up you can see it has the paint and everything i did a lot of um changing up the suit like changing up the design and which one i want it to be like the silver web pattern needs to be completely different and all that but yeah this was um how my my third suit looked and y'all can see the the 3d paint that i did on my next suit which i showed you in my very first video um it's just the dot the puff paint dot texture which like i said i'm gonna make a puff paint tutorial now the great thing about this versus my other one although the other suit my first suit which i'll show you next looks better than this i didn't use an applicator tip for the puff paint and it came really small fine lines what i mean is if y'all don't know applicator tip is like um the part that you put at the nozzle of the paint bottle and um that's just going to help you get finer lines for doing details like this. Because you don't want it to be really like big and thick. Kind of like my other one. And yeah, I feel like I actually did a pretty good job of dotting it on this suit. Oh, sorry, on this suit. And um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty generic. I didn't paint here. I added some lines on it. I, um, I fabric glued this together. And... I want to show you on the inside so this is the inside part now the thing with this is the reason why it's double layered like this is because this fabric here is kind of see-through I don't know if y'all can like see through it I don't know how well the camera picks it out but the problem is like it, it's see-through so I needed to layer this with another fabric that I found which I found this one this beige fabric and then I decided to layer it with that I didn't choose beige just, I didn't have any options is what I'm trying to say. Like, there wasn't any black or anything. I probably would have put black or something on the inside. But yeah, so it just solidifies it and gives it 
um, a solid look just so you can't see through it um, you can see through the red you see what I mean you can see the base fabric inside but yeah this was my second suit I took my first con it looked better before but yeah that's how it looked and yeah I still like that suit there's there's a lot to it that I liked but yeah um this is my next suit now this suit this suit is the first suit that I showed you in my video it did change I did change the logo here but that's pretty much the biggest change and there's a little bit of red here um I, I forgot what happened that might have been a mistake or something but yeah this is my um other suit um this was fabric glued as well too with the Aline's fabric fusion this was not sewn I actually it was sewn sorry it was sewn like it was fabric glue at first but this is the suit I had I was working on when I first learned how to sew which I used just a white stitch which you don't want to do you want to use the same color stitch and i sewed the pants part you can see why you, you don't want to use that color but yeah i sewed the pants part on this suit and yeah um the rest of it's just completely fabric glued now this one i cut all the pieces from scratch on my other one the last one i showed you the gloves i bought from the dollar store and i just used that because i didn't know how to do gloves until i just decided to trace my hand. I was watching a tutorial. I just traced my hand and then I sewed around my hand shape. I got really long fingers, <laughs> if y'all haven't noticed, but yeah, so this is will not fit me as you can see anymore. My fingers have grown longer. So yeah, um I love this suit. I just love it for what it is. Um this is the first suit where I painted the entire thing. Actually, this is the only suit where I painted both the red and the blue, where I de did the dotted texture on this one. And what I was saying is that these lines are more compact together um, versus the other one, where the lines are a little bit more separated and finer. It's kind of hard to see. They're a little bit more separated and finer, which looks more accurate because I didn't have an applicator tip for this one. So the problem with that is when the dots start to connect, it loses the stretch of it and it starts to become really rigid which I did have an issue with that on this suit it almost felt like a leather suit at this part like the the texture of it kind of it felt like leathery and that wasn't really good you wanted that fabric quality to still be there which in that one the other one although it kind of it looks beat up it still had that quality in it but yeah um I painted the blue with the bit brick pattern here. Again, I didn't use an applicator, so they got really thick lines. But I really like how it turned out. Like, it's really nice. I didn't finish it. Like, when I went to the con, you can see that it wasn't finished. I had metallic black here and then blue here. Just because I did not finish in time. Because this painting takes a long time. And I did not estimate the amount of time that I needed to um, actually do that. And you can see the black webbing. This was just regular black puff paint slick. This is not metallic black on, like on my other suits. This is just plain black. And yeah, that's how this suit looked. I really like it. Um, the boots are somewhere. I just don't know where they are. And it looks really, really nice. So yeah. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to show you. So in this suit and those other suits, the thing with the neck... I, I I traced the neck, like, when I cut it out, I just traced my body from my shoulders here and up to the neck. Now, with the neck, when you're making suits, the thing is, when you look at your neck, your neck is not, like, straight up. Like, it, it it's at an angle somewhere, like this, right? It's not straight up. So, the problem is here, since this is completely just straight up, you're going to get, like, a fold in the neck, if that makes sense. You're going to get a little fold, which I did fix in my other suits. Which I did start to do so, you got rid of that fold, which I'll show you in the tutorial. I'll explain more about that, but I'll get into that later. And yeah, so I'm going to show you my next suit. Now, this suit is what I'm currently on. I made a pretty big jump. Oh, <laughs> I'm so, I made a pretty, pretty big jump between that suit and then this other suit. This wasn't the suit that I made right after that one. Um, it was another one I had. I made a mile suit. I have two mile suits. I have a mile suit. I know lots of you keep asking. 
Y'all keep saying like, oh, you should make a mouse suit. So I do have that. I just have not made a video on that, which I will do soon. One is Into the Spider-Verse and I have just the comic book one. So yeah, um, this suit, this one here is like, uh, how should I, like this is, this is my favorite suit. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is probably my favorite suit just because it fits me the best. This is the one where I did the best measurements on. It fits me nicely. And I took my time with this suit. Like I really did take my time. I tried to make finer lines. This one was completely sewn. No fabric glue whatsoever, except for like hot glue for like the front parts. Um, I'm not gonna go talk about this too much just because I already made a video on it and there's gonna be another video on it. But y'all, y'all can go see the other video. I'm gonna save that for any of you who haven't seen that. But yeah, this this is my progress so far. Like, I've come a long way since the start and yeah, that's, I just, I just want to make this for all of y'all who feel like discouraged. Um, I don't want y'all to feel like that just because I know, I know that you guys want to make this kind of stuff, all those people who want to, you guys want to, but it's like, it's hard, but you guys just need to practice and I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help you out with that, with, um, future videos. So yeah, um, those are my suits. That is my progression from where I started to where I am currently. I do have a lot more suits, which I'm going to say for other videos, but I actually did want to show you just a tease of what I would have next. So let me get that really quick. Okay, so you all have been asking for it. I'll show you. This is just a tease. This is in Spike vs. Miles one. I'll make a video on that soon. And... Yeah, this is this is a nice mask. I like these lenses a lot. I'll show you how I made all that. You know how it is. I just make the review of this, so that's just a little tease. What I'm gonna do, and I also have this, which is my Tasm One suit, which I have just started. Um, actually, I made this like a month ago, a month or two ago, but I'm waiting to get more fabric to finish that. But this is just a tease. These are the shoes that I have now that's the most like I, that's the most unique Spider-Man suit out of all of them the Tasman suit some of you will know it some of you won't but I'll show you a video on that now that's a suit where I'm going to be testing screen printing myself I'm going to be testing that soon see how that will work and then later in a video I'll show you guys about screen printing which it sounds like screen printing sounds crazy and like it sounds like something that has to be done in the factory which it is but it's like it doesn't have to be you can just get you just get your own little screen print thing and you can start printing your stuff and yeah i'll show you guys how to do all that so that's just a tease for um next um videos and yeah i hope you guys like that and remember don't get discouraged y'all can do it i'll show you how to um how to do this so y'all have a nice day have a nice easter i don't know when i'm gonna be posting this it might be after easter but anyway yeah See you guys later.